So welcome everyone to the third uh, Kubernetes batch and HPC day. Um, really happy that we, we managed to organize it again. Uh, we have um, an, an afternoon full of uh, nice topics and talks uh, with uh, different points of view of uh, what batch and HPC even mean. So it will be quite interesting. So my name is Ricardo uh, with Aldo. Um, I'm chairing this event and uh, also thanks to the other people that were in the program committee and the talk selection. Uh, it's always um, nice to have interested people in collaborating. So if you feel like uh, helping us out for the next event, feel free to, to reach out and, and join the program committee as well. And if, if you want to submit, of course, um, we encourage you to submit to the CFP for the next event as well. So this is the third time, as I mentioned, that we do this event. Um, the first one was a year ago in Valencia in May. Uh, this was uh, organized and the, the main goal of this event was to kind of establish the bridge between uh, what's traditionally uh, used for infrastructure for research and scientific computing and the new technologies coming from cloud native, which were triggered mostly by, by services. And uh, the idea was to kind of have an event that would be the, the bridge between these two communities. And it was quite popular. We got like uh, 60 people attending um, with a lot of uh, uh, live stream uh, attendees as well. Um, and uh, this was the replies we got uh, from the first event, which kind of motivated us to, to keep going with this kind of events. Uh, the second batch in HPC day uh, occurred later in the year in Detroit, um, uh, together with KubeCon North America. I wanted to have some numbers for this event, but actually I, I couldn't find them yesterday. So uh, uh, it was a, um, a full day event. So we transitioned from the first half day to a full day uh, in Detroit, and it was uh, uh, very well attended. So that's the reason we do a third one. And um, I think uh, it's, it's been positive and it triggered a, a lot of uh, different actions in different communities. So this time we do, we do it here in, uh, in Amsterdam together with KubeCon Europe. Um, so as I mentioned, this is a half day this time. So we, we listed three key main topics when we uh, set up the CFP. The first one was uh, advanced high performance computing, and this is uh, really more traditional hyper HPC environments, uh, but not only, it can also be like high throughput uh, uh, environments as well, which, uh, which we have uh, quite a lot of users interested on. Uh, the second one is machine learning and, and specifically training, and uh, what does this mean to, to run this kind of workload on um, uh, Kubernetes and cloud native? And the third one is data and analytics, and we'll have uh, we'll have talks that cover a bit uh, of the three as well, uh, both from from an end user perspective and from from infrastructure as well. So we have five full sessions, three lightning talks, and thanks again everyone for the submissions. Uh, keep submitting. Uh, I'm sure uh, we'll we'll keep organizing these events in some form. So who, who are we? Uh, we've asked this question uh, before and uh, basically uh, in this batch HPC cloud native world we have contributors to the different projects, we have researchers and uh, we also have like um, end users that are more interested in using the technology. So maybe maybe just as a, a starter uh, I'll start by our, how, how would you say that, would you say that you're, you're an end user and could you just raise your hand if you consider yourself an end user just to have a feeling of the audience? All right. And uh, contributor to some projects? Okay, a couple of hands. Uh, and researcher or more industry, but mostly from the research side of things? All right, okay. So we see it's a majority of end users, which is kind of the expectation for this event as well. But the goal is really to collect the requirements so that we pass them to the projects and we push the, the landscape forward. So the three main uh, groups that uh, uh, people hang out on is the Kubernetes working group patch. And this is where uh, the core work of expanding things like the job API and the scheduler is happening or being uh, led. And Aldo will talk a lot more about that as well. Second one is the CNCF Research User Group. Uh, this was created uh, uh, 
from from after KubeCon Barcelona in 2019, and uh, uh, it it kind of gathers people from from different research communities, and again, it's and it kind of guides in one entity the requirements from these communities. And then the CNCF patch system initiative, and this is a broader initiative than the working group patch in Kubernetes that looks at other projects also in the CNCF landscape and other parts of, uh, of the, the stack. So the goals of the event is to bring together community experts, I mentioned contributors, research and end users, and please, uh, try to network as much as possible the, during the event. And finally, the main goal is to make sure that Kubernetes becomes the, the best tool to manage infrastructure also for these kind of workloads. Um, in addition to the co-located event today, in the main conference, there's a, a couple of talks that might be interesting for, for all of us. Uh, I tried to, to have a quick look at the schedule and highlighted um, um, tomorrow there's a deep dive into the, the scheduler in Kubernetes. It's obviously not just about this kind of workloads, but uh, if you're interested in how it all works or even in contributing, uh, do attend. Then there is a um, gathering from the working group patch in, uh, in Kubernetes and uh, with an update there. Uh, there's also a talk about uh, efficient access to GPU resources. Um, specifically about the different mechanisms you can use for like uh, sharing GPUs and optimizing the overall usage. Uh, the day after on Thursday, there will be a talk um, uh, for, uh, regarding Unicorn and the scheduling framework. And then on Friday, there is a talk about enabling HPC and ML, ML workloads with the latest job features in Kubernetes. So all of this, I think is quite interesting. So it's a nice follow up for this uh, colo. Uh, just a quick reminder about the uh, code of conduct from the CNCF. Uh, do scan uh, for more details and for that will be captioning and translated. This is regular uh, standard slides from, from KubeCon as well. And that's all I will say. And I think we can jump in immediately with, uh, with the first talk from uh, Dimitri. Thank you.